Right, now let's have a look at a grade seven question. So this is exclusively for the students doing higher paper. We have a six-sided fair dice. Um, Ahmed and Sarah play a game. If Ahmed rolls a factor of six, he wins the round. If not, then Sarah gets the point. The winner is the person who gets most points. If they roll the dice twice, what's the probability of a draw? If they roll three times, what's the probability that Ahmed wins? Now, before we begin this question, we need to know how to get a win for Ahmed, okay? Now, it says that Ahmed, if he rolls a factor of six, he wins the round. So, what is the probability on a dice to get a factor of six? So, if we write down the scores that we can get on a dice, not the scores, but the outcomes of a dice, we have six numbers. Now, it said the dice is fair. It is not biased. Bias means that it leans towards a particular number every time you roll it. So every number has an equal chance of being selected. All right, that's what fair means. Now, which of these are factors of six? Let's highlight them. We know that one and six are factors of six. They are numbers that go into six. We know that two and three are factors of six. Four and five are not factors of six. So what is the probability of getting a factor of six? Four out of the six numbers gives us a factor of six. So the probability for a factor of six is four over six, which we can simplify to make things easier, two over three. Um, so therefore the probability of Ahmed winning the game is two out of three, and the probability of Sarah winning the game is one out of three. With that being done, uh, these are the probabilities that I will be using to draw this into a probability tree diagram. So let's start off. The first question says, if they roll the dice twice, that means I have two rounds of rolling the dice. I have round one, so here and here. So let's put down A for Ahmed winning and S for Sarah winning. The probability of Ahmed winning is two out of three. The probability of Sarah winning is one out of three. That's round one. If they play round two now, let's write this up here. So we have two more branches coming off each, out, um, each event. So again, Ahmed can win or Sarah can win. Here, if Sarah wins, then again, on the round two, Ahmed can win or Sarah can win. Now, independent means that their probabilities are unaffected. So therefore, Ahmed winning in round two is going to be the same as his probability in round one. So two out of three, and Sarah will be one out of three. Here, Ahmed will be two out of three, and Sarah will be one out of three. So this is our probability tree diagram completed. Now we want to know the probability that they have a draw. So the probability of a draw. The probability of a draw means that Ahmed wins the first round, and Sarah wins the second, so let's write that down. The probability of Ahmed winning the first round and Sarah winning the second round. Or the probability that Sarah wins the first round and Ahmed wins the second round. So it will be Sarah and Ahmed. And that will always lead to the draw because Ahmed and Sarah or Sarah and Ahmed. Now, the probability of Ahmed and Sarah is going to look like this. Two out of three times one out of three, because this intersection, it means and. So two out of three times by one out of three. Or means to add, so we'll put that in there. Now, we want the probability of Sarah and Ahmed. Sarah here is one out of three times by Ahmed, which is two out of three. So one out of three times two out of three. Now we will calculate each of these values. Um, again, if you say non-calculator paper, then you could do this in your head um, using uh, mental arithmetic. Um, and if it's a calculator paper, then knock this straight into your calculator and get your answers, okay? So two times uh, one, which is uh, two over nine, three times three, and then plus, so here you get this, two over nine once again. So two over nine, let's just write it here, plus two over nine here. So the denominator is the same, so you can add the top along, and the answer is four out of nine. What have we found out? We found out the probability of them drawing is four out of nine. Let's have a look at part B. If they roll the dice three times, what is the probability that Ahmed wins? 
Now you can actually do this in one of two ways, okay? One of the ways is to extend this tree diagram for round three. So let's do this, round three. Now, we are just interested in Ahmed winning. So if you want, you can just draw Ahmed's probabilities if you like. So just for A winning each time. But since it's a probability tree diagram lesson, let's just complete the full tree diagram. So we have two branches for that. This, this, and here. It gets quite congested when you have three rounds, okay? So we have Ahmed winning or Sarah winning. 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 And we can write down all the probabilities, which is two over three for Ahmed, one out of three Sarah. So now we have a complete tree diagram for all three rounds. We are looking for the probability of Ahmed winning. Now, in order for Ahmed to win, he has to win at least two out of the three rounds, if not all the rounds, okay? So let's have a look at all the combinations that make Ahmed the winner. So we can have Ahmed winning, Ahmed winning, Ahmed winning. So the probability of A, A, and A. Or, which means and, remember? We can have the probability of Ahmed winning the two rounds, but losing to Sarah in the third round. But it makes Ahmed a winner overall because he wins two out of the three rounds. So, probability of Ahmed, Ahmed, and Sarah. Let's have a look at more combinations. Um, here, on this first one, we, can, we only have now, we've exhausted this branch here. Okay, so now let's have a look at this branch here. So, Ahmed winning, Sarah winning, and Ahmed winning again. Okay, so probability of Ahmed winning, then Sarah wins, and then Ahmed wins again. Or, can we have the next one? So Ahmed, Sarah, and Sarah. This makes Sarah the winner because she wins two of the rounds out of the three, where Ahmed only wins round one, okay? So that is not a viable option. Let's go down to this branch where we have the first round to Sarah. Now, if Sarah's won the first round, remember Ahmed has to win the next two rounds. So Sarah, Ahmed wins this one, Ahmed wins this one. So we have our final one, which is Sarah winning the first round and Ahmed winning the next two. Now, there are no more other examples that we can draw from our tree diagram where Ahmed wins because everything else, Sarah wins. So we only had one possibility from this branch leading on, okay, where Sarah wins the first round and then Ahmed wins the second two. So these are all our probabilities. So all that now leaves us to do is to find these probabilities. So just to give you an example, I want the probability of Ahmed winning three times, or Ahmed winning twice and Sarah winning the third, Ahmed winning the first, Sarah second, Ahmed winning the third, or probability of Sarah, Ahmed and Ahmed. Now, I want to now find all these probabilities. Now to help us, I'm just gonna rewrite this so that I leave a gap here. It might be a good idea. So you can actually see the probabilities I'm finding. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. I'm just gonna write it here and that gives me room to write down my probabilities. So I've rewritten this, that will give me room now to write the probability of A, A and A. What's the probability of A, A and A happening? It's two out of three and two out of three and two out of three. So that and will be two out of three times two out of three times two out of three. So that's that first one. Now we're looking for this. So probability of Ahmed, Ahmed and Sarah. So probability of Ahmed, Ahmed and Sarah. So that would be two out of three times two out of three times one out of three. So two out of three times two out of three times one out of three. And we're gonna add this, so we can just add it here, to the probability of ASA. So let's look at that. A, S, A. So two out of three, one out of three, two out of three. Two out of three, one out of three, two out of three. Or the final one we have where Sarah, Ahmed and Ahmed. So it's gonna be one out of three times two out of three, times two out of three. Calculate these individually, separately, so let's do that. That's gonna be two times eight over 27. It's going to be four over 27. This is going to be two times one times two, which is four again over 27 plus four over 27. So we've got the answers 
to each one and now we'll just add them together. All of them have the same denominator, so we can simply just add them up. So 8 plus uh, 4 plus 4 plus 4, that gives us 20, so equals to 20 over 27. So the probability of um, Ahmed winning if the dice is rolled three times is 20 out of 27. Hopefully you've enjoyed this lesson. Um, in the next lesson, we will be going over conditional probability tree diagrams. So I should see you in that lesson. Goodbye for now.